Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Saturday, 11 races. We got stakes action in the Miami Gardens. We're going to look at the track, the weather conditions, and turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello with the call of all 11 races. Partly cloudy conditions here today with temperatures in the mid 80s. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is always fast. No turf racing today. In race one, number five, Unified Weekend, is four pounds over the listed weight. Scratch number seven, Cox Canyon. It's race one, scratch seven, Cox Canyon. They're at the post. R Racing at Gulfstream. Hello, sucker, comes out firing from the rail. Kikete, the favorite, is away in the top flight, up to second early. Luscious Dancers in early third, followed fourth by Unified Weekend. A gap of a length and a half to Commander Flynn, then it's Imbatable and Raul's Encanto. Up to the outside goes Pluma Roja, and out the back is Imbatable. Half a mile away, Hello Sucker has rail position and the lead. Kekete is up alongside in second. Three better than Luscious Dancer, who's now third. Three back to Unified Weekend. The second choice is racing in fourth, six lengths off the lead. A gap of another four lengths to Raul's Encanto, then Commander Flynn and Impatable. Out the back is Pluma Roja. Less than a quarter of a mile from home, the race favorite Kikete has ran on to take the lead by two over Hello Sucker second. Warming to the task with an inside lane is Unified Weekend, Luscious Dancer on the outside. Unified Weekend tries to gain ground on Kikete who is shortening up. Here comes Unified Weekend, front and center and kicking clear. Here's a late run from Commander Flynn to try to get into second, he will, but nobody beats Unified Weekend. Unified Weekend to win the Saturday opener by six. Second, Commander Flynn, Kikete third, Luscious Dancer fourth in 104. Four flat. start for Chasing Joy. The public pick was away alertly and right to the early lead. Splitting horses is Adios Dixie. Hotline to Heaven's not far away. Arrow Shape splits horses and Hutzbah is out the rail. Then it's on the far outside to look up to Heaven. Kenya Sun's between horses. The two at the back are Ellery Zeeston and Scylla. They make their way now with a half a mile to go and up front Chasing Joy taken on by Hotline to Heaven and Adios Dixie between horses. Arrow Shape and Edgar Perez getting a good trip. They're racing behind the speed and now starting to improve a touch. And it's a gap of another two back to Kenya Sun. Kenya Sun is about a length and a half in front of Look Up to Heaven. Then it's Hutzbah from Ellery's Easton toward the back of the field. Scylla is the trailer as they round the far turn. Nursing at an advantage is Chasing Joy, three parts of a length. From the outside, that's Arrow Shape second, dropping back hotline to Heaven. Hutzbah, Torres trying to find some place to go. From the outside, that's Kenya Sun trying to wind it up from the back. Ellery Zeeston making good headway. Green cap angling to the far outside. Chasing Joy off the turn now starts to get away a touch. He leads by two and a half. Hutzbah splits horses and up into second. Down the center, Ellery Zeeston with Kenya Sun. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Chasing Joy has the lead with work to do. Down the center, Ellery Zeeston closing ground late almost home chasing joy here's the finish chasing joy won it second Ellery's east and third was zero shape then kenya sun and hutzpa 119 flat
Racing in the Miami Gardens. From between horses, Treves quick off the blocks, running memory, speeding through with the rail with Nike Cam into the top flight. From between horses, Poseidon's Passion, she's in the purple and up into fourth. Outside goes Sammy's Town, then it's Sequin Lady, and the early trailer is Strategy Queen. Half a mile from the finish, running memories, has the lead, and now she's under a tug from jockey Edgar Perez to try to slow it down mid-race. Nike Can is there, second from Treves in third, Poseidon's Passion ridden quietly, angling into the two-path and racing on from fourth. Then back to the outside, it's Sequin Lady trying to pass Sammy's Town, and Strategy Queen is last. 22-2 and two for the opening quarter speed as they run to the top of the stretch. Running memories, let out a notch with the lead. Poseidon's Passion looping up three wide from between horses, Nike can. Then it's Traves as they straighten for home. Running memories needs to buckle down. Here's the on the outside to Poseidon's Passion, just like last time. Although this time, Poseidon's Passion has powered past. Running memories, who's back to second, and she'll hold sway for that spot. But the Miami Gardens goes to Poseidon's Passion. Under Luca Panici, three lengths in front. Running memories with second. Traves ran third, then Nike can. 102 and three. Start from Mr. Ripple at the inside. Omericola was away cleanly enough, splitting horses as Dream Knight on to take over, also into the top flight, Majestic Pharaoh, as they run out of the chute. It's Dream Knight, Mr. Ripple, and Majestic Pharaoh, the three quickest. Carolina Traffic joins them to make it four across the track. It's a length and a half back to the outside, and DePoli from between horses, Coppermaster. Il Maricolo is at the rail, and not keeping up early is Sir Daniel, last of the lot. But the entire field up front is only separated by three lengths, and Sir Daniel gives them a seven-length start after that. Mr. Ripple has the lead, taken on inside by Majestic Pharaoh. These two kick on. From the far outside, that's DePoli trying to slide through at the rail of Maricolo. Reyes found an opening toward the rail and sends the second choice up to fifth. Competing to the spot, Carolina traffic with Dream Knight dropping back a touch, and the trailer is Sir Daniel. 46-3 and three for a legitimate half mile as they round the far turn. Mr. Ripple and Majestic Pharaoh continue to tussle. DePoli now races into third at the rail. Umericolo up to the outside. Morrison's on the go with Dream Knight circling horses again. Dropping back is Coppermaster. Then it's Carolina Traffic and Sir Daniel as they run to the top of the stretch. Zayas getting serious on Mr. Ripple who turns for home on top. Umericolo comes into the clear to try to track him down. From the outside it's Dream Knight but look at this leader kick away. Mr. Ripple called on when asked and now puts him away. Mr. Ripple running up the score with an eighth of a mile to go. Il Maricola was clearly into second. The battles for minor placings is Sir Daniel closing a ton of ground from last, but the winner in impressive fashion, Mr. Ripple. Did everything right and won by six. Second, Il Maricola, closer for third, either Sir Daniel or Dream Knight. Set at a one mile trip and uh, they're off. Breaking inward was especially one of the last to break the line. Ridden for the early advantage is Triple Jeopardy, who's headed off for the early lead. From the inside, Incitatus has some speed and tone feelings not far away. Hieto moves up from the outside. Incitatus and Hieto, 1-2, down at the rail, tone feelings there third, with Here Comes Bullet racing together with New York Style. Prospect Project is improving with down toward the inside, Then out wide on the course goes Rebelde. Just to his inside is Causalistic, two better than Go Mike with Triple Jeopardy. Out the back, you can't catch Curlin, and the trailer is especially. 
They make their way now with a four and a half furlongs to go. The opening quarter was 23 and three. And with the advantage, it's still Tone Feeling stretching the lead to two over Hieto in second. Up to the inside in Satatis now third. Prospect Project fourth. Here comes Bullet is next. New York Styles held up in traffic. Causalistic with an inside lane trying to follow the move of Prospect Project. Rebelde is needing to get his skates on. He's about seven or eight lengths behind while improving in the yellow. Then go Mike as they round the far turn. 46 and one for the opening half mile. Torres on a mission with Tone feeling he's gone awfully fast. Second is Hieto, two back to here comes Bullet. Causalistic weaving through traffic. Rebelde on the far outside, then go Mike. Three quarters, one ten and three. They straighten for the drive. Tone feeling has an eighth of a mile more to get and two and a half lengths to hold. Down the center and another run from Hieto. Causalistic and Rebelde are next with here comes Bullet. Jaime Torres trying to get one more furlong from Tone feeling Hieto surging to him. Tone feeling Hieto, here's the wire, Tone Feeling. Tone Feeling in an upset, beat Hieto, 137 and 1. Start from the outside for Admiral's Wave. Moving up between horses, Starship Renegade. And between that duo is Weechif, not far away. Ridden into fourth is Greenpoint. Dominican Ice is down at the rail while trying to hold his rail spot. Splitting horses goes readier. Outside of him and Tactical Force third last. Fight is second last. And in the comeback try, it's winging it, who's last of the nine, as they have five furlongs to run. It's Weechif who comes out of the scrum with the lead and won a quarter in 22 and 3. At the rail, Dominican Ice is in the blue blinkers trying to hold down that fence position. In between horses and Starship Renegade getting started is Admiral's Wave. Down at the rail, Dominican Ice patiently handled by NOL Beato. He'll need a way through while only a length off the embattled trio. Two back to Redier, dropping back now is Greenpoint, trying to rally in from the back, is winging it as they round the floor, turn at the 5 16 The rail is open, Beato is obliged to come on through, and here comes Dominican Ice to take the lead with an inside lane. He's still confidently handled Dominican Ice at the tour quarter pole on top by two and a half and starting to get away. Nobody running home with any authority from the back. Dominican Ice has this to throw away as Starship Renegade clings to him second. Three back to the outside, and that's Admiral's wave at the rail. It's Greenpoint, eighth of a mile to go. Dominican Ice driven out. Starship Renegade still trying. 16th to go. Dominican Ice is clear. Starship Renegade is second. They come for the finish. Dominican Ice will win it. Starship Renegade was second. Greenpoint is third. Admiral's wave fourth, then winging it, 126 and one.
Grace Charlotte and Lanny Akea Storm, the first two to break the line. Moving on their outside, La Costa won't be far away. Your inheritance is four wide while looking to get over. Down at the rail is Provocativa, racing ahead of Money Factor in short circuit. And the early trailer is Katie's Dream Girl. And the run around the first turn, a long shot Gray Charlotte gets clear to lead by two. La Costa second. Lanny Akea Storm third at the rail, followed fourth by Your Inheritance. Provocativa in and amongst rivals while not... Uh, really having much room to work there. A gap of two to short circuit in front of Money Factor. And Katie's Dream Girl is last. It's been a very reasonable early pace as the quarter time was 25-1. and one. They have five furlongs to race. Gray Charlotte has the lead. La Costa turning up the pressure in second. It's a box seat trip for Lenny Akea Storm. She's the gray and the black colors down toward the inside. Provocativa works between horses and then short circuit ahead of Money Factor and Katie's Dream Girl. Field separated by five lengths through a 49 and four opening half mile as they swing to the far turn and pick up the pace. Gray Charlotte still has the lead. Three wide, your inheritance, two path, La Costa. Patiently handled Lanny Akea Storm. She needs room, short circuit. Meanwhile, she's not waiting. She'll give up ground while four wide. A gap of two to Provocativa passed outside by Katie's Dream Girl with Money Factor at the rail. Still plenty of chances here. Three quarters, 113 and three as they fan across the course. On the far outside, it's short circuit from between horses, La Costa. Gray Charlotte is next, angling for room as Money Factor. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Who do you like here? The leader is short circuit by two. Money Factor splits horses up into second. Then Lanny Akea Storm and Katie's Dream Girl. Short circuit driven out. It's short circuit in front. Lanny Akea Storm wins the place photo over Money Factor third. And Katie's Dream Girl fourth. 141 and three. And they're off. Last in, first out, Prairie Hawk fires to the lead with Point Liam moving to him. Away in third is Silver and Black, Instinctual speeding up out the rail. My Mad Ira's between horses with Naga's boy ridden for position but losing ground to the leaders. Pike places in the blue on the outside, four in front of Mr. Rhodium. He's dropped better than eight lengths off the pace setter, and it's a gap of another six lengths back to Awesome Otter and well back to Bold Majestic. 22 and 2 for the opening quarter speed as they race to the far turn. Point Liam hounded outside by Prairie Hawk. My man Ira looms a threat in the blue cap. He's three wide third. Instinctual is out the rail fourth. It's a gap of three to Silver and Black, who works well ahead of Pike Place. On his outside, Mr. Rhodium tries to play catch up as they run past the quarter mile pole. Three across the course here. My man Ira has now taken the lead through a 46 second half mile. From the inside, Point Liam tries to battle back, back to third Prairie Hawk. Instinctual not finding. Eighth of a mile to go. Point Liam is very game. He puts ahead in front again. My man Ira surging back to him. Now my man Ira's in front again. Instinctual is third. Down the center in silver and black. 16th to run. My man Ira will win it. Second is Point Liam. Third is Instinctual. Then silver and black in 112. And one. In the gate. And they're off. Excellent beginning for Royal Attitude. From the outside, Avon Glory is going to run with him. Away in third, Inter Miami racing together with Prince of Iron. A gap of two. That's advanced cash. He comes away racing in fifth. He has three on September 10, who's toward the back of the field. And Braccio De Fano is last. Down the back stretch they go. Long shot Royal Attitude. And Miguel Vasquez with the rail advantage and the lead. Avon Glory on the chase from second. Inter Miami together with Prince of Iron third and fourth. Still five to advance cash. There's three better than September 10. And the trailer Braccio de Fetto. 
Legitimate pace here, 22 strong seconds for the opening quarter. Avant Glory has had enough of Royal Attitude and shakes free to lead a length and a quarter. From the outside, it's Inter Miami. From fourth and Prince of Iron, a gap of four to September's 10, who starts to stoke the boilers, rallying about eight lengths off the lead. Advanced Cash is next as they run to the top of the stretch. 45 seconds for the opening half mile. It's Avant Glory in front with work to do. From the back, September 10 circling horses on the far outside. From the inside, Inter Miami begins to retreat and they're at the top of the stretch. Avant Glory cut the corner nicely. He has four lengths and an eighth of a mile to go. September 10 wearing him down, down the center, trying to make it close. Final 16th of a mile. Avant Glory needs the wire. September 10 gaining, but time is ticking away. Avant Glory, September 10. It's too close to call. Avant Glory needed the wire. September 10 needed another stride. It's a win photo. Prince of Iron's third. Too close to call. 123 and 4. We're ready for the start. They're off. Strategic speed. Some speed at two, but can carry it on through their later careers. Improbable. Full of run. Improbable. Now a grade one winner. It is a complete runaway. An authoritative run. It's improbable to win the Whitney. They're off and running. Good start for Poyama. Better start for American, of course. They're the first two to begin. Up to the outside, frankly, my dear. Wide on the course and Jumaira. Splitting horses. Easy come, easy go into the top flight. Moving out the rail. Three witches. Back from there, it's C. Art ahead of Awfully Fast. And Elusive Molly is last. American, of course, has beat Poema to the lead. They are half a length apart. From the rail, that's three witches who strides into third while angling off the inside. Out in the center is Frankly My Dear, racing alongside Easy Come, Easy Go. Then it's back to the inside and awfully fast. Out in the center, Jumaira, the two at the back now, Elusive Molly and C. Art. Into the far turn they go. The opening quarter was 23 seconds flat. Up to the outside, Poema toward the inside American, of course, they continue to spar. From third, three witches at the rail. It's awfully fast. Who gains ground with an inside lane. Backpedaling is frankly, my dear, trying to rally from the back is C. Art with elusive Molly, who and Poema is in front. 45 and four for the opening half mile. Poema turns for home, trying to shake American, of course, who's off the inside. Trying to run home from the back is three witches in between horses awfully fast. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Poyama still has the lead. Easy come. Easy go. Charging hard down the center for Vasquez. Poyama needs the wire. Easy come. Easy go. Is going to get her. Easy come. Easy go. Gets by Poyama to win going away. Poyama second. Three witches third in the tenth. They cover the course in 123 and four. Away. 
Disco Queen gets the first call and looks to establish the early pace. The Cuban Missile is going to run with her. Flat Out Cool and Karen's Revenge trying to work over. Whatnot is in hand toward the rail. Then stare if you must. Two in front of Liz Queen, Flora DeLee, and one of the favorites. Cats that gal is last of the eight as they chase the speed on around the first turn. The Cuban Missile, two-wing battle with Disco Queen. Out wide and flat out cool. Farther out goes Karen's Revenge. Leonel Reyes in a cozy spot with Whatnot. She's saving ground while down toward the rail, only two and a half lengths off the lead. On her outside is Stare If You Must, three better than Liz, uh, uh, Liz Queen Fleur de Lee, and the trailer is Cats That Gal. Quarter time, 25 and 1. Down the back stretch they go. And Jaramillo and Flat Out Cool, they have the lead. It's Flat Out Cool in front. From the inside, Disco Queen. From the outside, it's Karen's Revenge. Trying to wind it up from between horses, stare if you must. Staying put at the rail is whatnot, then Liz Queen flirt -a and catch that gal as last. They make their way to the final three furlongs of the contest. They went 49 and four for the opening half mile. Stare if you must is the first to make a serious move. It's stare if you must now trying to get to the leader. That leader is still flat out cool. From the back, cats that gal circling horses up into a joint fourth as they run to the top of the stretch. Flat out cool on the outside. Stare if you must. Stare if you must. Shoves a neck in front. Cats that gal grinding home pretty effectively for Vasquez. Disco queen and whatnot are next. Three quarters, four. 14 and 2, they straighten for the drive. Stare, if you must, made first run with work to do. What not and catch that gal swung to the center. Then it's a late run from Liz Queen Fleur de Lee. There's less than an eighth to go. With the advantage, it's still stare if you must. What not closing ground. Catch that gal between. Three chances. What not in time. Catch that gal was second. Stare if you must ran third. Then Liz Queen Fleur de Lee. 152 and 2. And that wraps up Saturday's action. We're back here once again on Sunday with an 11 race card. And we got stakes action with the Opa Laka stakes. It should be a fantastic day of racing. And don't forget, each and every day, our first race post, 12.25 p.m. Good night and good luck. <laughs>